Since I was an undergraduate student, I have always found uh, immunology super interesting. Um, and I think getting in touch with everything that goes um, inside our body when we encounter a pathogen or some pathology this, um, is like magic, you know. Um, and having the ability to alter it in favor of health is like even better. So I think it's magic. It's I work on immunotherapies based on the use of uh, attenuated bacteria, particularly salmonella, um, for cancer treatment. And um, when the pandemic started, um, the whole lab stopped uh, everything we were working on, and we um, collaborated on COVID diagnostics, um, providing with equipment, uh, reagents, and know-how. Um, so for those months, uh, my PhD work was um, pretty new, but um, since I was almost finishing, um, I had like more time to write my thesis, which was uh, good, so silver lining of the panics. I joined Immunopedia on uh, 2018 during the Latin American Congress of Immunology um, in Mexico. And since, the, since then, I have been um, actively spreading the word about Immunopedia, um, like showcasing a poster or giving like small presentations about the, the issue. Um, I have also written an article highlight on the Congress report. And um, I think being part of Immunopedia is a way to give back what um, has given uh, has has been given to me over time. It's like contributing with my small little grain of sand, you know. My last contribution to Immunopedia has been um, assisting with the development of material for the Immunocolumbia course, and it was an honor for me to be able to contribute to this course that I have attended myself on um, 2015. Uh, and it was a really mind-opening because we had the chance to really um, become involved with the lecturers. We had lunch with them, and they um, gave us advice on how to boost our careers, our research, our networks. Um, now, being um, like in the other side, um, I got to update my knowledge on areas of uh, immunology which I am more distant of. So I think it's been a win-win situation.